Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my 5-minute review playlist. In previous videos, we talked about nephritic syndrome, nephrotic syndrome, amniotic fluid embolism, Barrett esophagus, and in the last video, we talked about familial adenomatous polyposis. Today, let's talk about Lynch syndrome. Unlike familial adenomatous polyposis, which literally has thousands of polyps in my colon, Lynch syndrome is hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer i.e no polyps but lynch syndrome not only causes colon cancer it can lead to other cancers as well there is a famous investment company called merrill lynch every time i read the name of this company i remember macroeconomic i mean micro satellite instability bad joke please watch the videos in this playlist in order First, what is cancer? Cancer is a mass. Cancer belongs to neoplasia. Neoplasia could be benign or malignant. The benign, such as adenoma, but the malignant is adenocarcinoma. So when I say colonic adenoma, it's benign. But colon adenocarcinoma is cancer. Neoplasia, what's that? Abnormal mass. So cancer is mass whose growth exceeds and is uncoordinated with that of normal tissue and persists even after cessation of the original stimulus. Tumors could be benign or malignant. The malignant ones could be carcinoma if they are cancers of the epithelium or sarcomas if they are cancers of connective tissue. Carcinomas metastasize to lymph, sarcomas love to metastasize through the blood. Cancer is growth with no control, growth with no limit, no evident cause. That's why we say risk factors not causes because correlation is not the same as causation no useful function arise from any type of cell in your body could be non-functioning i.e non-secreting or functioning i.e secreting and those are called perineoplastic syndromes please do not confuse cancer with carcinoid poop emojis in medicine here's the normal stool okay brown amazing What's that? This is pale or clay stool. We can see this in obstructive jaundice, post-hepatic jaundice, and in some cases of hepatocellular jaundice as well. This stool is greasy and oily and floats on water surface in the toilet bowl. This is teatoria. Could be caused by a problem in your intestine, a problem in your pancreas, a problem in your liver. Because in order for you to digest fat, grease, you need good bowel, good pancreas, robust liver and biliary system. So any disease in any of these can lead to fatty stool, steatorrhea. And here you're not just losing the fat, you're also losing fat-soluble vitamins as well, such as vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin A. Black stool is hemolysis. Black stool is melanin. If it looks like this, this is upper GI bleed. If it looks like this, this is lower GI bleed, so colon cancer is here. If it's kind of in between, this could be coming from upstairs or downstairs. The polyps in your colon, generally non-malignant, and these are some examples. Sometimes they are malignant, especially adenomatous or villous adenomatous polyps and serrated polyps. And there are many diseases and syndromes where we have many polyps in the colon. And these include familial adenomatous polyposis, but exclude Lynch, because Lynch is non-polyposis. In cases of familial adenomatous polyposis, which is an autosomal dominant disease, usually due to mutation in the tumor suppressor gene, and when you lose the tumor suppressor gene, you know what you get? No suppression of tumor, i.e. you get tumors. You can get cancer. These poor patients have thousands of polyps in their colon, and there is 100% chance of developing colorectal cancer. Put differently, almost 100% of these patients will develop colorectal cancer. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Usually this disease starts after puberty and then give it some time and it becomes cancer. So we do prophylactic colectomy. Before it becomes cancer, we unfortunately have to remove the entire colon. It's a very ugly disease. Sometimes it's associated with brain tumors. So now I have a colon cancer and brain tumor and it's called Turco syndrome. How do I remember that? Turco Turban, turban, head, brain. There is another one called Gardner syndrome, where you have a garden variety of tumors, benign soft tissue tumors, osteomas of the jaw, dysmoids, etc. Doctors have memorized this for years and years and years. It's Lord. 
left side obstructs, right side bleeds. The left colon or the descending colon, when cancer happens here, it obstructs, giving you the classic napkin ring appearance. Why is that? Because the descending colon is naturally narrower than the ascending colon. So in this descending colon, the cancer can grow and then rotate and then squeeze and obstruct here, causing the napkin ring appearance, giving you constipation colic pain versus the right side or the ascending colon it's very wide it's not gonna obstruct but for sure it can bleed leading to loss of blood in the stool bright red stool and when you lose blood what do you get anemia the most common cause of iron deficiency anemia in an old person is gastrointestinal bleeding such as cancer until proven otherwise how can we manage colon cancer if it's early stage remove it surgically if it's late, well, we gotta give chemo, such as the famous full fox and full theory regimen. Now let's compare between familial adenomatous polyposis and hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. Familial adenomatous polyposis, autosomal dominant. How about Lynch syndrome, also autosomal dominant. Familial adenomatous has uh, thousands of polyps, but Lynch has no polyps. FAP is less common but more severe, 100% chance of cancer. However, Lynch syndrome is more common but less severe. Only 80% of patients will develop colon cancer. FAP is a mutation in the tumor suppressor gene known as APC. On chromosome 5, familial chromosome 5, everything is effed up. My colon is effed up. I am effed up with 100% chance of cancer. The rectum is always involved. The rectum is 100% effed up. Forgive my language. This disease usually begins after puberty when I am ready to use your imagination. Don't imagine too much. Also, familial adenomatous polyposis can be associated with Turco syndrome or Gardner syndrome. Lynch syndrome is not a problem with APC tumor suppressor gene, it's usually a problem with DNA mismatch repair. When you cannot repair the mismatch of your DNA, you develop cancer. This is called microsatellite instability, such as MSH2 and MLH1. MLH1 and MSH2. Lynch syndrome can also be associated with other cancers. And if you remember my video titled Hereditary Breast Ovarian Syndromes, I have told you that Lynch syndrome can have colorectal cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, skin cancer. Now it's time to quiz yourself on these hereditary cancer syndromes. What's that? What's that? What's that? Pause and review. I have a video in my pathology playlist titled Cancer Basics with the classic M mnemonic. So please watch it. Also, I've talked about many cancers on this channel. If you want to learn about vulvar cancer, vaginal cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, and breast cancer, download my OBGYN high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. For more facts about colon cancer, skin cancer, insulinoma, glucagonoma, gastrinoma, and others, download my surgery high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website, download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, stay Study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.